A for the days. Bible information is what I'll call it. I thought I'd start talking about God's holy days. Um, things that we don't really um, pursue. We do holidays. We do things for man. But we forget about the Lord's holy days. So first, um, let's look at what the date is and what the holy days are. And we're going to start, I'll give you the dates and then we'll start going through them. And this year, in 2021, Passover is March 27th. Then the Feast of Unleavened Bread is March 28th through April 3rd. Pentecost is May 16th. The Feast of Trumpets is September 7th. The Day of Atonement is September 16th. The Feast of Tabernacles is September 21st through the 27th. And the eighth day, which is the last feast this year, is September 27th. And these begin... The evening Passover begins the evening before, and all of them, before. And that's because of how the Lord's days went. He went evening to day. But, it tells us, one, in the Bible, in the biblical days, in the evening, and you can see this in Genesis 1 and 5, it says, when the sun goes down, and are counted from evening to evening. The days are counted from evening to evening. Thus, all God's festivals begin in the sunset just before the date listed. So it was the day prior. Um, and even if you look at our year this year for the Passover, it starts on excuse me, March 27th. So... The Passover is observed the evening of March 26th in the evening from sundown to sundown on the 27th. And the Feast of Unleavened Bread, since it's right after, will start on the evening of the 27th. And the festivals end at sunset on those dates given. But th the question is, why do we accept man's holidays and we don't go to the Lord's holy days. If you look at the Passover, okay, and this will be the first holy day that we speak of, the Passover teaches us that Jesus Christ was sinless, and as the true Lamb of God, he gave his life for everybody, for everybody's sins. And the fact that we could be forgiven and the death penalty removed. And you can see that through various readings in the book. And it is the first festival of the year. It is the first festival festival of the year. If you look back in... Um, uh, was it First Corinthians? I think it was. Give me one second. First Corinthians. Come on, I know I remember this. Okay, there it is. When when it speaks of it, get rid of the old yeast so that you may be a new unleavened batch as you really are. For Christ our Passover lamb has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the festival, not with old bread leavened with malice and weakness. He's saying, get rid of sin, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Remember, they spoke of uh, messing up a batch just with one thing, one piece of yeast. And yeast is considered to be sin in this case. So... 
this feast that we speak of is about that, the Passover. The, the main thing here is to celebrate it. It tells you, therefore, let us keep the festival not with old bread. Let us keep the festival. Jesus celebrated this festival. If we go to, um, was it Peter? James. Peter, first Peter. Let me see. Let me make sure. First Peter. Come on now. Go to first Peter. Come on. Let me see. Yeah. 18. Yeah. For you know, first Peter 1, 18 through 20. For you know that is with not it was not with perishable things such as silver and gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without a blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. See, we we keep giving testimonies to these holidays and and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about a holiday because if I pick one I'll say July 4th and I know we all love to celebrate and get off but let's look at July 4th July 4th is Independence Day in the US I can tell you everybody wasn't independent at that time slavery was still abound at that time Racism was still abound at that time. Rape was still around at that time. Murder was still abound at that time. We were still in submission. Everybody didn't have independence. And why celebrate a day which may have afforded some independence, but it didn't afford all independence? Jesus came to free us all from bondage. That day didn't do anything for all of us. It did some for some of them. And if you truly read and look at even your Constitution and Declaration of Independence and put it into perspective, who wrote it? Who wrote it? It, it couldn't benefit everybody because it wasn't written for everybody. It was written by a select group of of farmers, rapists, murderers, bigamists, racists, freaks. And we celebrate that day, but we forget about God's holy days. The Passover is about Jesus being the Lamb of God, and we, we don't give credit to it. We don't do enough. To it, we need to start remembering the Lord's holy days. We are to celebrate them. It tells you that. It tells you to celebrate these days. And it's not that we stop celebrating them. Jesus celebrated them. If you look in your Bible, you will find none of these of the holidays and we'll go through them as we go through them but you won't find any of them you'll just see man following man's tradition and the Lord told you he would not honor man's traditions how come we claim to be under God but we don't do as God tells us we struggle to do his if you look at these things we are failing as Christians, because we don't follow his words. Lip service, we got. True obedience, uh, that's a struggle. And that's for all of us. Amen.